Hi wonderful friends, hope you're doing well and welcome to another week here at Grace Doing Things. Sugar is in the house and this is actually a jumper that I got embroidered of her face so she's here in spirit with us all the time. Firstly, wanted to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers, this is amazing. Thank you so much for your everlasting support and amazing and thoughtful comments. It really just warms my heart so much so really 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 thank you. Let's get into today's video, which is climbing on the smallest holds and just the most peculiar holds I've ever used. If you saw in the intro earlier and also questioned what on earth he was holding, it turns out that they are soy what? sauce caps. <laughs> soy sauce caps, like these. If you've ever gotten takeaway sushi before, this was what the handholds were. I have to go and try it, right? There is just no way that I will not try the tiniest holds ever. And they are just so bizarre because they are not hold holds, but doesn't mean you can't use them as climbing holds, I guess. So let's go and see how I fared. So firstly, I wanted to have a feel of the soy sauce cap holds before I really committed to the climb. I tried to get on using a better foothold to pull myself up. Oh my god, I was dying. The holds were so tiny that there was nothing much to pull off of. And that made my forearms feel so pumped. I was definitely not prepared. Okay, let's break the boulder down first so you can get a little bit acquainted. Whoops, it's a little bit too bright. So let's turn it down so we can see everything a little clearer. Honestly, you can barely see the holds here because they are so tiny. But anyway, we'll make do. So you start off left on these tiny, tiny holds with your feet on this semicircular volume. Then you traverse right across more soy sauce caps until you reach the second last hold. This part is so tricky where you have to stand on a small jib and then you sort of pull yourself all the way up until the end. So that's it. Some pre-climb thoughts though. This was a blue tag climb, which is definitely a level that I usually try to project a bit. So I was a bit nervous on how that would be. And I was even more nervous because I had never used such tiny holds, but that's okay. We're all here for new experiences. I did like the fact that it was on slab though. So I definitely have more chance doing slab or sending slab, so that was good. I definitely wanted to try that. Anyway, so that's all I have to say about the climb. You know what it looks like now. Let's give it the first go. By doing the run-up start, I got to get above the holds and once I got there, they felt way better than when I first attempted it. So that was definitely really helpful. And as I made my way traversing to the right, the holds actually didn't end up feeling that bad. I misread the beta and got really confused and tried to go left hand when I needed to bump right. So I fell off here, whoops. Since the caps were so tiny, I had to squish my fingers and then just focus on using my index finger and my thumbs to hold on. So it was just so bizarre because I've just never held something like this before in climbing. As a bonus though, it didn't feel as slippery as I expected. I don't know whether you can see this, but the caps actually have these tiny little ridges. So that's pretty helpful. I got to hold on to that and it wasn't as slippery as I expected. So that was good. As you can see, I screwed up the beta and then had to swap my hands back before bumping to the next hold. Oh no, I didn't trust my right foot enough to keep my hips close to the wall, so I fell off again. Here's me silently expressing that my fingers really hurt, but I couldn't talk because it was so loud in the background. So I'm doing a voiceover. And since I was too lazy to figure out the beta, here I am doing it from the ground and I think I'm getting it wrong again, but it's okay.
you know a lot of it is just moving across moving your body across and moving your feet across accordingly until you get to this crux move here where you need to shift your body from left to right and then step off your right foot and pull really really hard off your right hand i also forgot to mention that you need to do this really risky right hand bump and then just catch little sushi holds and really really tense your core and that's where you need to really press off your right foot. And so I was like pulling from a far away place and like it's a tiny far away place, pressing really hard on my right foot and then kind of going as slowly as possible to reach the end. And you can't even see it in most of the video because it is just so tiny. But when you're there, you can kind of figure it out because it's the only place with a bunch of chalk randomly in the middle of the wall. And once I did that, we made it. So that was great, and that was the climb. It was super, super, super interesting. Definitely really enjoyable to climb, and surprisingly not as bad as I thought. If setters in the future want to continue using random objects, I'm all for it. Thank you to Skywood for setting that very, very interesting climb, and it's safe to say that that is definitely the smallest hold I've ever used to date. I'm not sure how many smaller holds you can really get because I actually did some further homework and ended up measuring this and it turns out that the diameter of this is one centimeter across. And then I went a step further and tried to bother Yossi a bit more and asked him to show me the smallest holds in the gym. I've got my trusty fabric tape. I'm gonna use to measure the smallest hold that Yossi thinks he can find. Okay, thank you. Alrighty. And here's what I found. So as you can see, a pretty big difference. The soy sauce caps are about one centimeter and the smallest holds in the gym are about two and a half centimeters across. But I have to say that the soy sauce caps do have a nicer hold to them because they have a little more depth, whereas the one on the left has less depth, so it would be a little harder to hold and less pinchy. Let me know what you think about the smallest holds that I've ever tried. Do you think it's a climb that you would have enjoyed? Or do you think, not really my style? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was lovely to see you all again, and I hope that you're doing well, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!